Laser weapons are limitless in terms of ammunition supply, the technology showcases Britain's dedication to leading military innovation. This groundbreaking technology demonstrates Britain's commitment to staying at the forefront of military innovation. Laser weapons, which are different from conventional systems, re virtually limitless in terms of ammunition supply. High-energy weapon proves its mettle in testing, the British Army tested its powerful, high-energy laser weapon from an armored vehicle for the first time. The laser weapon, which directs an intense beam of infrared light in the form of energy towards its target, successfully destroyed flying drones. The main goal of the Capability Demonstrator program is to discover and test the potential future use of directed energy weapons by the British Army. The weapon uses advanced sensors and tracking systems to maintain lock-on and accuracy in real time. The weapon has been developed through a collaboration between the MOD's Defense Equipment and Support and Defense Science and Technology Laboratory. Known as Team HERSA and an industry consortium led by Raytheon UK. This groundbreaking technology demonstrates Britain's commitment to staying at the forefront of military innovation, said Maria Eagle, Minister for Defense Procurement and Industry. The successful testing of this laser weapon system represents a significant step forward in our development of possible future defense capabilities and showcases British engineering excellence. Laser weapons, which are different from conventional systems, are virtually limitless in terms of ammunition supply. These weapons are also a cost-effective alternative to some current in-service weapons. The British military maintained that the laser weapon was integrated onto a Wolfhound, a protected troop-carrying vehicle where soldiers from 16 Royal Artillery were able to track and down hovering targets at Radnor Range in mid-Wales. Having already been tested by engineers from MOD and industry, the latest experimentation by the British Army should provide knowledge, information, and experience to support future requirement decisions, ensuring the UK stays at the forefront of this novel and disruptive technology, according to a press release by the British military. The main goal of the Capability Demonstrator program is to discover and test the potential future use of directed energy weapons by the British Army. Raytheon, Fraser Nash, NP Aerospace, LUM Optica, Lighter Surveillance Systems and Cambridge Pixel have been involved in developing the weapon under a £16.8 million contract awarded by Team HERSA, as per the release. UKMOD also maintained that it will take the learnings of the project into account and assess. The necessary steps to develop laser-directed energy weapons for frontline use by the British Army in the future. The UK Ministry of Defence announced that soldiers from 16 Royal Artillery had conducted tests against flying targets, although the word it used was hovering at the Radnor Range in mid-Wales. This latest development follows the first firing of the laser weapon from a British Army combat vehicle at a Porton Down firing range. Operated by the Defense Science and Technology Laboratory earlier this year. If perfected, the technology could form an effective countermeasure against drone attacks. In that instance the 15 kilowatt infrared laser was found to be capable of neutralizing targets at distances greater than 1 km. In both tests, the weapon was mounted on a Wolfhound, a six-wheel armored truck operated by the Army as part of its Tactical Support Vehicles Group. Russia's war against Ukraine has demonstrated that tanks are vulnerable against attack from drones, and armed forces around the world are rushing to develop countermeasures. Energy weapons such as lasers are regarded as a reasonable solution as these can continue to fire for as long as there is sufficient power. Whereas guns run out of ammunition and missiles are soon used up. We asked the Ministry of Defence when we can expect to see laser-equipped combat vehicles in service with the British Army. And a spokesperson told us this is just a capability demonstrator, intended to provide an understanding of laser technology and how it may be implemented as a deployable capability. However, in its announcement, the Ministry of Defence said, that it will take the learnings of the project into account and assess the necessary steps to develop laser-directed energy weapons for frontline use by the British Army in the future. This is still an emerging technology, but the world has changed and we are seeing more use of drones in the battle space. This requires a more cost-effective solution to protect our troops, said Stephen Waller, Directed Energy Weapons Team Leader for the MOD's Defense Equipment and Support Agency. Having the capability to track and eliminate moving drones. 
will give UK troops a better operational advantage and these successful trials have demonstrated that we are well on our way to achieving this. The Army isn't the only part of UK military trying to get in on the laser action. The Royal Navy has its own Dragon Fire program to develop a laser for its upcoming Type 26 frigates sometime in the early 2030s to protect against threats such as drones. The Royal Air Force has also tested a laser self-protection system with the intention of fitting it to aircraft such as the A400M Atlas Transport. And there has also been talk about the future Tempest fighter being equipped with lasers. All of these projects are under the purview of the Ministry of Defense's DSTL, which appears to be a very busy organization. The British Army has successfully destroyed flying drones for the first time using a high-energy laser mounted on an armored vehicle, according to defense contractor Raytheon, which is part of the trials. This was the latest stage of the MOD's laser-directed energy weapon demonstrator program. Involving its high-energy laser weapon system and soldiers successfully tracked and neutralized moving aerial targets. Every engagement we've done has removed a drone from the sky. While we've been testing a variety of distances, speeds and altitudes, one thing has remained how quick a drone can be taken out, said Warrant Officer Matthew Anderson, trials manager for the British Army's Mounted Close Combat Trials and Development Group. It's definitely a capability that could be added to the arsenal of weapons that we use on the battlefield. Laser weapons are limitless in terms of ammunition supply, the technology showcases Britain's dedication to leading military innovation. Having the capability to track and eliminate moving drones will give UK troops a better operational advantage and these successful trials have demonstrated that we are well on our way to achieving this, said Stephen Waller, directed energy weapons team leader for DE and S. Waller highlighted that this is still an emerging technology, but the world has changed, and everyone is seeing more drone use in battle space. <laughs>